In this project I wanted to use these amplifier boards I bought from Banggood. I got them for about $8 a piece and I like this type of board with the built-in heatsink. I decided to design some active speakers in Fusion and they should have room for this amplifier board. I think the design turned out pretty good. Printing something like this takes a long time. I use just about 20% infill and a standard quality setting on the Bambolab P1S printer. But it still took hours to do this. And this is supposed to be a stereo system so I have to print another one when this has finished. This footage is from the webcam inside the printer and it's only a 720p camera so the quality isn't that great. I printed a front plate for the speaker element, it's a basic print. And then the back plate with a recess or a case for the amplifier board. And you can see, you can barely see on this image that there's some support material that I have to remove when this print has completed. And this is what the print looks like when I put it all together. I think it's a pretty nice print. Uh, the color scheme is a bit strange, but I took what I had in stock. And this is the space for the amplifier board. At uh, this stage, I had the brilliant idea of listening to these speakers. And <laughs> that was a good thing because I then discovered that this sounded pretty awful, to be honest. So back to the drawing board or actually back to Fusion. And I designed a case for the amplifier boards to keep the amplifier separate from these awful speakers. I'm printing this in uh, silver Petchy. Petchy is my favorite filament for the moment. And this is a print that takes about uh, three hours. I'm printing this uh, amplifier case in three different parts. It's the main case, the top cover, and a back plate. The back plate can be changed to accommodate different types of connectors or layouts. The print is almost finished. You can see the platform jumping up and down. That's something called C hop and will improve the quality. And uh, that's the end of the print. And I must say that uh, the consistency of the Bamboo Lab printer is impressive. Uh, it's very rare that I have a fail print. It has happened, but maybe once or twice. With the case out, we can have a look at the layout inside. And I wanted to have the amplifier boards oriented like this with the cables coming out on each side. And there's a snap in for a power switch and LED in the front of this case, and then just a simple lid that will keep the back plate in place as well. The back plate slides in and I've made quite a few different variations of this. This is only a prototype. I had to change this again after this print. This is the brass insert the way it should be in one of the corners. This is what the back plate looks like with all the connectors fitted. And uh, the front panel has the power switch and the blue LED. And uh, the back of this case is very simple. I didn't include any lettering or anything like that. It's just left and right and power supply. So I don't need it for my own use anyway. I completed this case by printing some feet in TPU. I believe this is uh, Filaflex 95A TPU. When wiring this, I wanted to use ferrules. I find a much neater way to do cable management and to provide secure connections without loose strands shorting out. I picked this setup from eBay. It didn't cost much and has been very useful.
This is the amplifier board ready to be installed inside the case. Actually both of them are now ready and I have marked the right channel with an R. I don't mind uh, soldering from time to time. In this case I'm soldering and listening to chess, which is a nice combination. I use heat shrink and always use a heat gun and not a lighter. This is what the finished amplifier looked like. It's still a prototype, but I think it's uh, pretty neat for, for a prototype. And I can get access to all the components and do changes very easily. And I quite like that this backplate can be replaced and use some different connectors. The power connector is rated for five amps, but I would like something a little bit more beefy, like a XT60 connector or something like that. Maybe I'll do that in revision sometime, maybe. So how does this sound? It's impossible to demonstrate audio quality in a YouTube video, but I can compare these energy speakers with the 3D printed ones so you can hear for yourself the difference. For this demonstration, I'm using the amp I just built and uh, I'm using the same song. I also attempt to keep the levels the same. I don't know what you thought about those two audio clips, but I certainly couldn't live with those 3D printed speakers. The sound was awful. I would rather get hold of a pair of secondhand bookshelf speakers and uh, be more happy with that. So where does that leave us? Well, I never call this channel V4 Successful Projects. I just call it V4 Projects. I think the uh, speakers didn't work. And maybe you could save them with some digital signal processing or a subwoofer, but uh, it's not worthwhile. And um, while the idea might have been good, it didn't work out in the end. I'm very happy with the amplifier part of this project, so uh, at least one part of this was successful. Until the next time, bye.